Morning Chilani's, my name is JackSepticEye and welcome to the final episode of Season 1 of Telltale's Batman. Can't wait to see how all this ends. This is looking really cool. It's called City of Light. The battle for control of Gotham intensifies, reaching a fever pitch as Bruce discovers a, a, re Bruce discovers a renewed sense of purpose and Batman finds himself pushed to the limits in a desperate as effort to restore order. It's gonna be good! Are you all strapped in? Are you all ready for this? I don't know how long this is gonna be. Most of them have been about an hour, an hour and a half long. This will probably be, be about the same, so strap yourselves in, get yourself some popcorn, let's do this! Himini ho! At the end of the last episode, we didn't get a, uh, like, next time on Batman kind of thing. Which leads me to think that lots of secrets are gonna happen. I hope so. Let's recap. It's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped bump off her parents. Why would my father have the Veils killed? I never said he killed the Veils. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. <laughs> so where are you gonna go? I've got some other business I need to take care of. did you do? I destroyed Lady Arkham's drugs. But the innocent people were a small price to pay. Yeah, this is interesting, because I went after Oswald, and my house got burnt down. You can do whatever you want to me. Lady Arkham's plans are already in motion. Oh, we'll just see what old Brucey Wayney can do about that. Hopefully Alfred's okay. I imagine he is, but if you touched my little Alfie, I will break both kneecaps. <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> this game series adapts to the choices you make, the story is tailored by how you play. Yeah, you keep saying that, Telltale. But then you just rectify the situations anyway. It's like, oh, someone will remember that. And it's like, will they? Will they really? Because later on, it doesn't come into play again. Sometimes it does. Then they just retcon the everything. The city is still reeling from an explosion Mayor Harvey Dent set off that obliterated an entire city block and killed innocents. Oh, so they know. When questioned about his extreme measures, Mayor Dent said he'll use any force necessary to take down the children of Arkham. <sighs> Jim? You're done, Gordon! Oh no, he's shot! Badge and we'll let you live. Meanwhile, his opponents are routinely silenced. The latest to speak out is Police oh. Commissioner Grogan. He called Dent a murderer and a terrorist, and demanded his immediate resignation. In response, Dent's enforcers attempted to arrest Grogan, sparking violence inside the precinct. These are dark days in Gotham. Our mayor promised us a better city, but delivers only more violence. How long do we let this two-face stay in power? He said How it! How long can we... Oh, hey, Jesus. You can't be in here. Hey, you can't do this! Shut hey, up. let me go! Hey, hey, stop! Even the news, dude, really? Time's up. You should have known better, Gordon. Now we nail your tongue to the precinct door by order of City Hall. It's a bit harsh, Just don't you think? Me. You Batman don't powers, go! Ha <laughs> ha! Ow, my fucking shoulder! Jesus! Hey, Jim! You want me to help? I got your back, buddy! And their fronts! No, you don't! Oh, it's time to surrender! Uh, crime! It's Batman time! Just in time, Batman. I did. Mayor Dent's lost his goddamn mind. His enforcers have overrun the city. Apparently, our new mayor doesn't care much for dissent. He's ordered a purge of every honest cop we have left. I'm gonna stop him! Which isn't many. Dent is a maniac, and he needs to be stopped before he tears this city apart. Agreed. Yeah, don't let me get in your way. <laughs> Big fucking shotgun. I'm gonna just blow some fuckers up! Down there. Oh. Yeah! If I 
3.1. Loose ends. Oh, Batman's back in action. Back in action, sure man. You're up for this. I have to be. Okay, I got dudes. No one needs to die. Follow my lead. Ha! Oh, whoa! oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> Not today! Oh my god! Dude, I'm fucking shit up! Ow! It's okay. It's okay. In the lobby, the commissioner. Dude! They can't hold out much longer. He just fucking blew him away! I mean, that's what it's always implied in these types of things. But holy shit! Yeah! Jim Gordon, what a badass! Is that Grogan? Not today, crime! <laughs> I'm gonna stand on your ass! Thank you! I'm a coming, Teresa! That wasn't her name, but. <laughs> Oh yeah, want to go toe to toe with the man that is a bat? Taste smoke, bitches! From the shadows, Batman comes. Take a sticky bar. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Just slamming heads against everything. It's awesome. Yeah, why do you guys keep looking around? You'd kill me much quicker if you didn't do that. You fuck! Fling a whole bitch at him! <laughs> Don't you hate when you're trying to run away and suddenly bench? You have oh. to stop dent. He's really just talking about the dent that's in his stomach right now. And Batman's like, I got him! God damn it! No. Not you two. He died a hero, giving his life for Gotham. I'm sorry, Lieutenant. Now this... This is not your fault. It's a bastard, Dents. Krogan was a good man. A family man. This is always inevitably going to happen anyway, because Gordon, Gordon has Gordon. to become the commissioner. Come Sergeant Kelly, report. It's the mayor. At Wayne Manor, he's got hostages, and he's killing them one by one until Bruce Wayne shows. Don't you, don't you touch he Alfred. Says, he says, cops show up, he'll kill another. Batman shows up, he'll kill them all. Kelly, get out of there. Sir, I'm- I'll let the coin decide. Kelly, Kelly, damn it. Ooh. Get yourself to a hospital. I'm out of Shit's going down! People are dying all over the place! This is awesome! Alfred, are you safe? Yes, I'm barricaded in the back cave. Yes! I heard gunshots, but then Harvey's men disabled the cameras. I have to face Harvey as Bruce Wayne. Otherwise, he'll just keep killing people. Perhaps going as Bruce could be an advantage. Yep. Even without the suit, you're a formidable opponent. I should be able to keep Harvey talking long enough to get close. Then I'll make my move. It may be your best chance. Hey. I'll be standing by if you need me. It's time to end this, Harvey. Once and for all. <laughs> Look at me, whoosh! Look at me go! I'm drinking Jack and Coke, by the way. It's a special occasion. See? Clink. You got a toast. It's the finale, I man! I safe for Gotham. A Gotham where working people can raise their families. A fear of being robbed or stabbed or, or worse. I just, I know I can make the city better. If only I could. Okay, I'll back you. <laughs> Come on, Bruce, that joke is in poor taste. I'm serious, Harvey. I'll fund your campaign completely. I've lived in Gotham my whole life, and I've never seen an official I can believe in. Until you. <laughs> Thank you, Bruce. I, I... I promise, I will not let you down. Mm -mm, never even crossed my mind. The only real question is, this election or next? 
We'll let the coin decide. No. Episode five. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's very cool. <laughs> that's Lucky, a nice transition. But someone has to die. <laughs> someone has to die. Are you volunteering, Deborah? Harvey! Harvey, when? no! About damn time. Hello. Don't shoot me! Snipers, two of them. Get the drones online. I'll see what I can do. I wasn't sure you'd come. I throw you at Arkham. Burn down your home. I'm and here to nothing. stop you, Where Phantom. You actually grow a backbone. I'm here to stop you, Harvey. You've hurt too many people. This has to end. <laughs> Wait. What am I saying? I've tried to fight it, Bruce, but I can't. He's still in there. Bruce, I only ever wanted to help Gotham. And now look at me. I can't stop him. You can fight it, Harvey. I've known you a long time, Harvey. You are stronger than your demons. I could always count on your friendship, Bruce. Until what happened with Selina. This city needs to be purged of people like you. Oh man. I love you. No. Traitors, terrorists. And cops who don't take their mayor's oh. orders. Harvey, don't. This is the only way to clean up this cesspool. Don't do it. Dude, fucking merciless. No, please! This is what happens to people who cross me, Wayne. You were the fiercest DA the city ever had. Someone who fought for people's dreams. So much for a safer Gotham. You're right. This isn't me. Fight it, Harvey. Go. Go, get away. <laughs> Thank you, Bruce. Thank go, you. But it's not up to me. Ho, 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 now. Deborah, my not so faithful assistant. You've been feeding my enemies info since the start. <laughs> I swear Back I did. Beg all you want, but it's not up to me. Your life, his life, even my life. They all. But they're not the pig! You're weak, Harvey. Letting a coin make your decisions. It's not weakness, Wayne. It's strength. And now it says Two Face will remember that. Bigger than me. Bigger than any of us. Oh. It's your lucky day, Deborah. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> go, 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 go. Stay back! Oh, God, please don't. Harvey, no more. I'm just getting started. This is the only way to keep people in line. Oh, is this you? Don't say kill me instead. He'll attack me and you. shoot me in the face. Harvey, no. This is not who you are. You once said you wanted a better Gotham. Is this what you had in mind? I wanted so much for this city. Shoot him with a drone. But I failed. We were good friends once, Bruce. I'm glad you're here. At the end. Maybe you can remember me the way I was no, before. No, no, no! Before him. Bruce, I need... I need the result. Oh, I caught the coin. Oh. Drop the damn coin! Without the coin, I can't... Pocket it, pocket I, it, pocket it. Make your own call. Bruce, please, I don't, I don't know what to... I can't decide. Yes. Oh, it's too much. It's too much. I can't... A safer Gotham, Harvey. Just like you want it. Jeez, I thought he was going to shoot himself. Fuck.
It's all over for me. You should have let me pull the trigger. No! You've done me and all of Gotham a favor. It's what I deserve. There's been enough death, Harvey. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose you're right. My fault. His fault. Bit of both. Is that his part done? Jesus. Oh, I like how his thumb Mr. is covering Wayne. half his face. That's cool. I, I owe you so much. No problem. You're a hero, and I'm gonna make sure all of Gotham knows it. You should be rotting in Arkham. Hey! Can't get me. Oh, dude, that bulletproof vest didn't do a whole lot, Lady did it? Arkham hasn't forgotten you. Everything you love will burn. Music. Man, that was just the start. <laughs> Fucking hell. The hell what else is gonna happen in this episode? I wonder if we're gonna see the Joker again in this one. Hopefully, because he was cool. Your usual tea, and the entire pantry, I'm afraid, didn't survive the fire. This is from my own personal supply. You had a secret stash? Thanks, Alfred. We're not the only ones that took a hit while Mayor Dent was in power. Well, at least you've ensured Harvey won't be hurting anyone else. Correct. Bruce... These last few weeks, I worry about the toll they've taken on you. Facing off against Harvey and Oswald in a matter of days. D not just the physical toll. Those were men you once trusted. And after finding out what you did about your father, people must seem a great disappointment to you. Always. Oh, I have down. you, Alfred. Oh. Even those whom you admire. Well, not all people. You've never disappointed me, Alfred. Oh, that's so sweet. But I have. Everything that happened, I could have stopped it. Oh. If I'd done something all those years ago. This. This is my fault. All of it. Don't blame yourself. I told you I wanted to leave your father's employ. But if only I had the guts to do something instead. Your mother, she wanted that. Wanted to put an end to his crimes. If I'd helped her... If I'd stopped Thomas, none of these horrors would have occurred. Lady Arkham... I don't blame you for what happened, Alfred. You did the best you could in an impossible situation. And it helped to make me the man I am today. I... <laughs> oh, they're so sweet! Thank you, Bruce. Oh, my heart! But our work isn't done. The children of Arkham are still out there. And Lady Arkham. With both Penguin and Mayor Dent off the board, she's the only remaining piece. We need to figure out her next move. The only thing we do know is that she moved on from her plan to poison the city. With Penguin gone and my CEO access restored, I can finally log oh. into Wayne Enterprises and see exactly what Oswald was doing during So is he actually like gone charge. gone now? If I cross-reference that with all the data we have on Vicky Vale, we might be able to figure out the children of Arkham's next move. Okay. That's all right. Vicky Vale. Mid-30s, reporter for the Gotham Gazette, and not in the public record, her true name, Victoria Arkham. So that's her symbol, she the She was a. here, in the manor. She gave nothing away of her true nature then. This thing, is this supposed to be like the, the A for Arkham? 
Uh, look at Lady Arkham, Children of Arkham, or Vicky Vale Gazette. Let's start from the source. The Gazette's records are the articles written by Vicky Vale. This record isn't complete. You're right. There are notable gaps between entries. But yet, it doesn't seem she ever left the Gazette's employ. So what was she doing in that time? This record wouldn't be easy to alter. Seeing what Oswald was up to could give us a fresh perspective. Okay, let's read the Arkham one. The, the children of Arkham. Their symbol dates back much farther than their terrorist activity. They formed to get justice for those wronged at Arkham Asylum. But the message fell on deaf ears. Until they found a leader Gotham couldn't ignore. Fair enough. And Lady Arkham. Vicky embraced this identity to follow through on her twisted crusade. Her mask inspires fear. Not unlike Batman. I just need to find her. Thanks for that, Alfred. Thanks for making me feel good about my alter ego. You fucking asshole. <laughs> also, I'm not sure if it's creepy or not that he can just holographically show up anybody in front of him like that. That's a bit weird. Your administrative access to Wayne Enterprises should have been reinstated by now, along with your title of CEO. Let's yeah. see what Oswald was doing while he sat in my chair. His login is Bruce, and his <laughs> his login is Bruce Master Wayne, and his password is Batman. <laughs> hasn't changed much since you were boys. Can we just see what he was doing? Surveillance, real estate, financial report, and records. Cobblepot Enterprise, and everything's all penguins. <laughs> Penguin was tapping into surveillance systems across Gotham. Any building using Wayne Tech security could be spied on from the CEO's office. How is that any different Creepy? than the back door into the Wayne network that he uncovered? That's not. Unless. Hold on. Where, where did that come out of? I want to walk and look at them all. Was, was trying to buy an island. What on earth for? Looks like he was using his new legal control of Carmine Falcone's assets and likeness to brand the place. It's some kind of tourist attraction. He was going to call it Falcone Island. Oh! That's a place in the the Batman we universe already, isn't it? Next move. <clears throat> Falcone Island? Of course. I think I remember that from the other Batman games, which I have played. A lot of people actually ask me, have I played the Arkham games? Yes, I have. Every single one of them, and I love them all. Oh, Oswald certainly wasn't very frugal with my money. You have a few yachts to return, it appears. Also explains how the children of Arkham had a seemingly endless supply of guns. Oswald was using Wayne money well, to Well, no, them. duh! Even I could have figured that one out. Oswald altered several public records using the Wayne network. Bruce, ah, the three amigos. Oswald manipulated my records as well. It would appear your degree was in sociology. And my medical records. There are some, well, but colorful diseases. There's so many STDs. Annoying, but not hard to fix. <laughs> uh. Oh, that's better. <laughs> I can just imagine he's like, Oswald changed my records as well. My new name, my new legal name is Dickface McGee. And he changed my medical records to show that I had gonorrhea, herpes syphilis. <laughs> Bruce just changes it back. Ah, that's better. It just has like, butt boils on it. Alfred's like, what? <laughs> No surprise here, Oswald wiped away any trace of his criminal records. <clears throat> his background is completely fabricated. He was enrolled at Cambridge? Ridiculous. <laughs> Calm down, Alfred. I'm sure the board realizes by now that they were fooled. <laughs> He's changed his own records. It says here that he has a 24-foot-long penis. Yeah, that's suspicious. <laughs> All mention of her birth name, Victoria Arkham, is completely gone. Wait, 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 what's this? He also erased something from Vicky's research at the Gazette. There we go. I can't tell what was <clears> removed <throat> from here, but Wayne Tech leaves a trace when it alters data. 
one the bat computer can decode. What is it Miss Vale wanted to hide? Ooh, spooky! I don't know. Maybe her background in dancing! Maybe she's a brilliant dancer, she doesn't want anyone to know. Um, oh, that's the one I just went into. Okay, security! What do we have here? <clears throat> they did more than just look at these schematics. Every building in Gotham with a Wayne Tech security system can be accessed from here and remotely controlled. If Oswald was the brawn, Vicky is the brains. So let's check her file. She may have left clues about what she was using Oswald's um, access for. That's kind of creepy. <clears throat> and it's a it's a future that's not too far off with all these smart homes that are coming out. Imagine if someone just hacks your house. That'd be really freaky. I have to go back into What? You told me to check the thing again, right? I can't scroll down. Do I have to check her thing here or in the the back computer? Ah, here. Aha! Let's unlock! Now that we know how Oswald manipulated Vicky's records, the back computer should be able to... There. No more holes. So, what was she doing? Patient files. She was looking into Arkham patients. Reviewing records, checking submissions, prior histories. She was trying to figure out who was actually sick and who was committed because of Hill, Falcone. And my father. Why? <clears throat> Vicky was digging deep. Gotham City records, freedom of information requests, post to conspiracy forums. All to find. It's a list. Gotham buildings that use <clears throat> Wayne Tech security systems. It's a list of targets. City Hall, Arkham Asylum, GCPD headquarters, Gotham First National. It's almost every landmark in the city. We're on to something. Vicky wants to bypass the security at a Gotham landmark. But without a man inside Wayne Enterprises, she can't unlock that door remotely. She'll have to get her hands dirty. And when she does, we'll find her. Speaking of... Is it Lady Arkham? No, it's one of Lucius's prototypes. On the move. What? But Lucius locked everything away. Well, he needed a better lock. <sighs> Selena's! She stole from you? After we opened <clears throat> our doors to her. After all that you two... Oh, after she opened her yeah, doors to me! Those, but why would she do this? Is she that cold-hearted? That... Selfish? She has a reason. I believe in Selena. She must have her reasons. Sure she does. Computer visual. The prototype she stole. It's an electronic skeleton key. With it, you could bypass any security system made by Wayne Tech. She trying to do that his old stealeroo? That key is too dangerous in Miss Kyle's hands, especially with Lady Arkham still at large. Get the car ready, Alfred. And Alfred, let Lucius know what's happened. I'm going to get some answers from Selena. <laughs> Where are the other drugs going? <laughs> He's like, oh shit, sorry, wrong question. <laughs> okay, so we're still not really any closer to figuring out what the hell is going on. Hello! Damn it. Hey, Bruce. I wasn't expecting you. Thought I'd make it outside the city limits, at least. You should know by now not to underestimate me. I thought you might be busy with... I don't know, saving the world. I'm flattered I rank so highly. But I know you're not here for me. Are you? I don't blame you for wanting it back. It's mine! <laughs> I'm surprised you had a toy like this. No doubt Batman would use it for the good of Gotham, but the less noble options are so much more... exciting. Why should I give it back? 
Because I'll so punch you if you don't. Just imagine what I'd be able to dig my claws into. That device is far too dangerous to be out in the world. If Lady Arkham got a hold of it, that blood would be on your hands. Wow, that's pretty dramatic, Bruce. I agree. Catch. <laughs> ah, fuck! <laughs> you might be exaggerating, but I'd rather not take the chance. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't pretend you're not impressed. As long cons go, this one was a beauty. Getting into Wayne Tech's lab took a lot more than cracking a safe. I had to get close to people. Your friend Harvey. Poor guy just wanted to fall in love so bad. After that, it didn't take very long to get my introduction to his BFF. <laughs> the great Bruce Wayne. Imagine my surprise when the rich playboy turned out to be Batman. Yeah, I don't believe Scourge her. I think Gotham. she's playing her to face. I was always going to steal from Bruce Wayne. Nope. Don't believe you. I just never no, uh, you la, 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 so la, 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 la. You talk a good game, but I don't buy it for a second. You're not that shallow. Mm -mm. You really think you know me that well? I know that whatever <clears throat> this started as, that's not all it means to you now. The only thing it means is that I'm very good at my job. Technically, it's I'm not a job. Out of here while the getting's good. Gotham's a house on fire, and I'm not gonna burn with it. If you were smart, you'd get out of here too. This town hates you, hates your entire family. Just leave it all behind. Do something more meaningful with those skills of yours. You don't need the money, but... Gotham needs me. But think of the fun. Gotham needs me. And I won't abandon the people of this city, no matter how they feel about me. After the way they've treated you, you've got one hell of a thick skin. You're gonna need it. Sometimes it's be not all about people liking us. you. It's about doing After the right all, thing. Look at what happened to Harvey. It'd only be a matter of time before I crossed one of your lines. Isn't that right? No. My copy of the Boy Scout Handbook is out of date. I'm bound to break some rule. Selena, I would never hurt you. Bruce, I... That's really sweet. But it brings us to the root of our problem, doesn't it? It does? You're upset that I'm leaving. What'd you think? That one night of sex meant we were going steady. Is that what you really thought? No! Yes! Well, maybe it meant nothing to you, but what happened between us meant something to me. Ah, oh, Bruce. Didn't know you were the sensitive type. Hey, fuck you! Just stop the show, Selena. Stop pretending nothing matters. <sighs> Look, Bruce. I'll admit that what you and I had... It wasn't terrible. You hear that, guys? Not terrible! It was just another job. A more... intriguing job than I was expecting. But still a job. Whoa, whoa, whoa now, Selena. Imagine what are we talking something? about here? I'm done with you. It's not complicated. I'm not a good person. I'm certainly no hero, and I don't want to be. I'm a thief. That's all I am. And I am a man that dresses up as a bat in tights and goes out every night and beats people up. Whatever. Else. Stop. It's not true. I know there's more to you than that. You're just afraid to admit it. You'd like it if that were true, wouldn't you? Yes. Why would you even think that? I've made my feelings pretty clear. Why aren't you listening? Oh, because I love you. That's a bit too you much. Saved my life. You could have left me to die back in that warehouse, but you didn't. Someone who's only out for herself, who's just a thief, wouldn't do that. Oh, yeah? Who would? A good person. That's who. A hero. I'm looking at it right now, it's you. You know, after I found out you were Batman, I thought nothing else could surprise me. But you just keep on surprising me. Oh, don't leave, Selena! The Catman Something and the Batwoman together! <laughs> 
I know it's Batman I'm and Catwoman. Any I was making help a joke. Remembering you. Well, it's been fun. Bye, Selena. Bye, bats. Man! I tried and she still left. Why does everything I love leave Lucius, me? Lucius, I've got the key. Uh, hold on, Alfred's on the line. Hey, Alfred, I... Bruce! Lady Arkham, she's here. I, I tried to keep them out, but... Alfred? Alfred! Uh-oh! Uh-oh! This is bad! Alfred! Alfredo! Lucius, it's Bruce. He's not here. Damn it. I'm going to search for clues. Just tell me how I can help. Get over here as fast as you can. I'm on my way. We're gonna find him, Bruce. I know. There's a poker in the wall. Need to focus. Figure out what happened here. What happened to you, Al? You kidnapped my Alfie! I'll fucking beat the shit out of anybody who touches my Alfred. Go get your own Alfred! Furniture scattered outwards from a single point. Okay, okay, good. Keep using that bat brain. A scuff mark. What could have caused this? A scuff! I'm on to something. <laughs> What did they do to you, Alfred? Ash everywhere. Okay, so I can link that one. Something <clears throat> big was thrown against this wall. Or someone. I was just gonna say, or possibly a body. Maybe, maybe it was a body. Look at that walk I got going on. Mm, mm, work those shoulders. <laughs> How the fuck? The lock's been completely destroyed. Alfred must have barricaded himself in here. But they got in anyway. They got in anyway. Okay, is there anything else I can link? Oh, oh, there's blood in the pool table! Blood pattern looks like it came off a high velocity hit. Smadoosh! Just like that. Y'all watch it. Smadoosh! Just like that. Who broke my priceless Ming vase? Face was knocked over in the struggle. The fight left nothing untouched. Is that all the things? Oh, never mind. Pool cue. This pool cue was used as a weapon. Swung so hard it broke in half. But somebody got hit with it! Alfred used the pool cue as a weapon. Broke it across his attacker's head. Nice! When that didn't stop him, he used the jagged end to stab him, spraying blood across the pool table. Alfred's a fucking beast! Maybe Alfred and Batman should go into business together! Alfred man! Batfred! <laughs> I don't think these link together, but we'll see what happens. These weren't scattered by the same event. No. Nope. So how about this and this one? No? I don't see a connection here. Yeah, I thought as much, Batman. <sighs> Sorry, buddy. Maybe this and this. Try to take the fire poker out and somebody smacked it out of his hand. Squadoosh! Like that. Alfred grabbed the fireplace poker to fend off an attacker. But it was knocked away. Hell of a fight! Sad I missed it. Would have been fucking cool. 
broken shelf and this. Oh, broken shelf and vase. Ah, let's Lady see. Arca must oh. have used the concussion blast from her staff to try and stop Alfred. Oh! And then he grabbed the poker. I know what happened. And then he po po poked her the face. Po po poked her face. In. Alfred barricaded himself inside the parlor. He had just enough time to grab a pool cue as a weapon before Lady Arkham blasted the doors open. He broke it across one of their heads, then stabbed him to get away. Nice. Another assailant tackled Alfred, knocking over the vase. Alfred almost escaped, but then Lady Arkham entered the parlor, used her staff's concussion blast, scattering all the furniture in her path throwing him against the wall by the fireplace. So Alfred grabs the nearest thing to use as a weapon to defend himself. But Lady Arkham deflected Alfred's attack, causing the poker to fly across the room and lodge into the wall. There we go. More blood on the mantle. He smashed his face into it. No! Oh, but it's Alfred! What? Sure doesn't belong there. Alfred, did you leave me a message? Alfred. The butler did it. Password reckoning. You have no idea. What? Could you fill us in, Bruce? I'm a Confucius. Poor Alfred. Don't smash his head against the fireplace. He's old and I love him. Bruce Wayne, you should be rotting in a padded cell. Fuck you. Now, your butler, the man who raised you like his own son, will suffer in your place. But don't worry. You'll get him back eventually. Peace. My bloody peace. Alfred. No. Oh Vicky will pay for this. I'll make sure of that. Look at what she's doing to him. All right. Well then, let's get. Don't to hit work. my poor little butler. I know he works for me, Alfred but I keeps love adjusting him. Adjusting his glasses. The reflection. Oh. oh. He's making sure I see the reflection in his glasses. <laughs> he knows the back computer can use multiple reflection angles to recreate the room that he's in. Does he? And I can view the virtual image using my cowl. Good thinking, Alfred. Alfred is the fucking best. Cowl VR. <laughs> That's cool. Can I put okay, on my, my VR headset? frame on the first signal. Just like look gives. around. That would be awesome. Paint us a picture. Here we go. I'd love to see a game do that. Imagine if you were just in like a 3D environment, like a first person game, and then in the game they picked up a virtual reality headset and you could do it in real life and put on my Vive or something. That'd be awesome! That's an idea. Someone make that, please. Professional grade camera. Probably came from the Gazette's office. Stairs leading up. Cement walls. We're in a basement. Oh, Alfred's great fucking deduction skills, that Batman. Might give us a clue to where he's being held. A toilet, a shower. He's in a bathroom. <laughs> He's wounded. Must be one of the thugs Alfred fought upstairs. Okay, looks like we've seen all there is to see in this frame. Let's move on to Alfred's next signal. You got it. What you got, Alfie? Doesn't seem to be anything else here. Let's keep looking. Rogers Plumbing. A service company for the water heater. I can use their records to find home addresses for their clients. We're getting closer. I thought there's yeah, only we're not there yet. One person else to see here. Moving on. Hello. Lady Arkham. Keep searching. A Mason stamp. Only one Masonic Lodge in the city. Gotham City Fraternal Order of Stonemasons. So the house was built in 1945 by them. That's a big lead. That's a Jump pretty big Alfred's one. Next signal. You got it. It's just a fist coming to his face. 
Hello? The basement window. What's that outside? Give me a second. They're by a bus stop. Enhance! There we go. Okay, I think we have enough to pinpoint a location. Well, let's hope. <laughs> That's a lot of choices. Basements. Okay. Repair logs. These are all the homes serviced by this water heater company on the days and months listed. Okay, it's getting smaller. Build year. Okay, filtering for all homes built on that date. Oh, uh -huh, and bus stops. Can get the bus line from this, but no stop number. This will help pinpoint the neighborhood. Oh. Well, okay then. You are not going to believe this. What is it? Lady Arkham is back at the Vale House, where she killed her foster parents. What a fucking idiot! According to its records, it has a basement. Well, just in case she's expecting you. Oh, new Batsu! New Batsu! What is that? Something I almost didn't get to finish because of Penguin. It's the most advanced version yet. Wow! <laughs> Lady Arkham will have no idea what I've got up these sleeves. Hey, Lucius, what has the Batsu got up its sleeves? <laughs> it's like she has no idea what I got up my sleeves. Uh, Lucius, neither do I. What's up the sleeves? Well done, Lucius. You've been long overdue for an upgrade. This suit is beyond state of the art. Nice. Oh, if it's good. Oh, look at my sexy mechanical pecs. This ends tonight. Whoosh! Fuck yeah! Let's do some beating up a little! I doubt they're still gonna be here waiting for me. Heading into the basement. Be careful. Hello? It's me! Batman! I mean... Postman! Ho 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 ho! Almost shot me in the calf! I'm alright. Yeah, I'm not here. There's no one here. No Alfred. Damn it! There's blood on the walls. I'm going to see what I can find. And there's Standing blood on the floor. By. Hurting my Alfred. This is where they had Alfred. Where they beat him. Alfred's blood is still fresh. Means we can't be far behind them. This is not the blood you're looking for. Oh, footprint! They went through the wall! Alfred, there's a boot print in the blood. Lady Arkham's soldiers dragged him. The trail stops at the wall. Actually, it goes under it. Sounds like there's more to this basement than it would appear. Taking a closer look. <laughs> it's like, whoa! She has a secret entrance in her basement? That's so cool! Uh, Bruce, you have, you have a bat cave. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah! Uh, never mind. Now let's find out where the veils were hiding. Lots of weed. There's a small room. With a hole in the floor. Rope ladder. A rope ladder. Anyone down there would be trapped. I'm not calling out. I'm not giving away my position. What do you think I am, stupid man? No, Batman with a B. I'm going inside. Okay, never mind. That was probably very loud. What the fuck? Oh, that's creepy. Did they chain her up down here and beat her? Jesus Christ! Bruce, 
house. What's down there? Do you see Alfred? No. It's some kind of torture chamber. Shackles, belts, blood. Oh, Alfred's what? glasses. Vicky, she was kept down here, locked away. Who could do that to their child? I'm beginning to understand. What is there to understand? To willfully hurt a child? No wonder Vicky is consumed with hate. It's all she's ever known. I can't even imagine. But it doesn't give her the right to take it out on others. True. The Vale's foster children may not have been the only ones to suffer here. I followed Alfred's blood into this hole. If he had any opportunity at all, he would have left me a clue. He left me a urine sample. Well, there's her outfit. Stop. Vicky created her here, in this room. This is where Vicky Vale became Lady Arkham. That's cool. I look at Alfred's glasses last. There are drawings. Vicky must have drawn them when she was a prisoner. The chalk here is different, newer. Alfred. <laughs> you just wrote down, please help me. It hurts oh so bad. About. Oh, the music! It's caked in blood. This is fucked up! Shackles. Blood on them. Old. And new. Vicky did to Alfred what was done to her. Alfred laid down here. One piece apart from the others. Blue. Mm. Blue. The same color as my tack. Can't be a coincidence. Maybe. Liberate. Whoa, that's cool. She will li be liberated. Some of the words have been highlighted. She will liberate. Figures fleeing from something. Is that Arkham Asylum? She's gonna let out the jokey joke. <laughs> well, this one is hard. I wonder what I link it to. Alfred left me another clue. So she's gonna. This Let everyone out of Arkham. Find to see the newest chalk. He's added to an old drawing of Arkham Asylum. He drew figures outside the gates, like they're running away. The words highlighted are, "She will." Come on, Bruce. It's not that hard to put together. Liberate. I don't see what that has to do with Alfred. Alfred's just along for the ride. She's been using Wayne Enterprises to get access to the buildings with Wayne Tech security systems, including Arkham Asylum. She's going to open the doors, release the inmates, and she took Alfred with her. Call Gordon and the GCPD. I'm on it. Lady Arkham won't be expecting us. We'll catch her by surprise. Creepy, creepy dolly doll. Okay, so her plan was just to release all the inmates. Which would probably lead to a uh, season two of this, that people escape, some are left out, some didn't get put back in, and then... BOOM! Joker. Maybe. I don't know. Probably. It's pretty handsy in this asylum. Everything good? Orderlies are rounded up. That's the last of it, then. The children of Arkham have taken over. That suits no slouch. You're well prepared for a fight. And the GCPD are on their way to deal with the inmates. If you can find Alfred, maybe you can get him out of there before all hell breaks loose. I'll try! Almost ready. Let her know. 
Copy. On our way. Go ahead. I got this. It's spooky. <gasps> nice. That's the Batman I know. Hello! <laughs> Batman. This ends now, Vicky. Tell me where Alfred Pennyworth is. The butler. Bruce Wayne has a bat on his paper. Wait, so you don't Answer know? The question. Where he is doesn't matter. He'll be dead soon. Another corpse in Bruce Wayne's family. No one's dying tonight. You really think you're in control here? Yeah. <laughs> Your confidence is impressive. But that won't save the Let's do some beating. Or the rest of Gotham. A lesson needs to be taught. They won't look the other way. Not again. And when did Gotham look away from you, Vicky? Don't try to psychoanalyze me, Batman. You have no idea what I've done to come this far. Too much to turn back now. I know you've suffered. You were tortured, held captive by the people who were supposed to love you. I don't know how you survived. You want to know how I survived? I survived. Because every night, I dreamed of the revenge I'd take on them. And this forsaken city. Your time's run out. Oh, right in the head! Ow! Well, I am well prepared for a fight. I'm not gonna get electrocuted this time. No, sorry, not now, not- Oh, Take boy. Aim. There's nothing you can do, Batman. You underestimate the true children of Arkham. These souls kept behind bars. It's Wolfman. Open the doors. Shit. Arkham, listen to me. That's a cool scene. The only one standing in your way. Uh, hi. Uh, how's, how's it going? Batman. No. Me, in here. me too. Let me at him. What, what was me? It was the, the other Batman. I'm a, a, a black man. Ah! Jesus. That works. How the hell could she have gotten so far ahead of me? Not today! Nice! Have you ever been so angry you smacked one motherfucker with another motherfucker? I have. Damn, I'm fast! I'm like the wind! Whoa! Ow! 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 <laughs> Stop kicking him in the shins! It's like what a six-year-old does! You're not getting away, Vicky. Here we go! Bat senses! Oh god, that's a little close. Uh, link inmate to food tray. Got it. Gonna fuck him up with a food tray. Uh, link you to a cup. Link you to a kitchen. Oh, you gonna burnify him? Throw fucking hot oil on his face? Oh no, you're just gonna throw him into the kitchen. Yeah, cook some food. Chair or door? I'm more of a doorman myself. And then kick him right through the door. Show him where the door is. Tell him to take a hike. Crush his face with the door. Fucking ow. And taser to your face. I'm gonna tase him right in his eyeballs. Stick it right in the bridge of his nose so he knows pain. And then for Vicky, I'm just gonna kick her in the booty. She's gonna be like, ah, poo. 
I'm gonna throw the table at you. <laughs> ah, whoa! Oh, Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> awesome! Ooh, mama! Didn't even fucking need my help! Nice! She's awesome too! But I better! Right in that top of her stupid fucking head. I mean, she has all that shaved head now. Take your time, Zaz. No, Zaz. What do you want from me, Victor? Wait, what's his name, Victor? Victor Zaz. He's yeah. He's in the normal Batman universe. Hey, woo. Dude, oh god. Yeah! Looks like the Frank Miller Batman. That's what I like to fucking see. Truly inspiring. Oh, hey, Joker. Such a pleasure to see your work in person. Hey, fella. Hey, hey. How's it going? Ha ha! It's the police! Batman! Lady Arkham has a hostage. We've got the inmates. Lock it down. I'm gone! Naruto! It's so funny if you ran away like that. <laughs> hey there! There's hey. no way out now. There's always another way here, Batman. All the people that Thomas Wayne condemned to this place unwillingly, they speak through the walls. Their ghosts walk. They know the way. I can't help those people now, but I can help Alfred Pennyworth. Take me to him. My pleasure. Well, that's convenient. Need to get to where you're going? Hole in the floor. Less convenient when you break your bones. I need me a pair of those. Gravity boots. Hello? Vicky! <laughs> Vicky! Show yourself! <laughs> Oh, all my shit's fucked. Let him go. The butler has to die. Payment for Thomas Wayne's sins. He took away my family, so I'll take away his sons. If you really want to save the butler, bring me Bruce Wayne. If Done. anyone can find him, it's you. He's probably cowering behind a 12-inch thick wall and a hundred bodyguards right now. Why should I trust you'll keep your word? Because my mask is off now, Batman. So? I won't lie. You're doing oh, so much for what does I have to do? He's not just an old man, he's my butler. I mean, he's Bruce Wayne's butler. Woo! Jesus, hypodermic needles. Vicky, stop playing games. This isn't a game to me. You know, Batman, I really don't understand. Why are you fighting me? I've done great things for Gotham. Have Not you? Tony and Hill deserved to die. If anything, I did you a favor. We're fighting the same fight, Batman. Can you see that? We want the same things. Blah, blah, We're blah. Super villains, am I right? I fight to save lives. You're a cold-blooded killer. You shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be defending him. You think Bruce Wayne is any better than Swamp? He hides behind his status and wealth. He's Couldn't you use, like, bat technology to pinpoint her location? 
You can find her in an entire you city, but you can't find her in one basement. Oh, balls. Oh, balls. Dude, I almost became a bat sandwich. That wouldn't have been good for my career or my face. <sighs> hey -oh. I'm curious, Batman. I know why I wear the mask. It's who I am. Who I was always meant to be. What about you? Do oh, you wear the same. mask to hide? No, I just or wanted to, to be a bat. Who you really are? Yeah, that are one. Are you the man? Or the mask? The mask is a symbol. Some fear it. But for others, it brings hope. When I first saw it, I found it inspiring. Oh, thanks. Oh, and shucks. once you're dead, I'm going to mount that mask on my wall. But first, I'll see the man beneath. Will you now? Ah, oh, shit. Yes. Ah! I did it! She's getting away. God, can you stop chasing her and just punch her in the face? Whoa! This is underneath Arkham. Why? <laughs> Vicky, did you build this? You're very good at masonry. Alfie! Hold on, Alfred. Uh, Hi. You, you, you came. You came for me. Well, duh. After what you said, I knew you'd come. The man. Man, I, I made you. Just hold on, Alfred. Did you see where she went? Uh, she just dis disappeared. I'm getting you out of here. Uh, above you! Not today! Jacques! <laughs> Interesting how you speak to him. So familiar, Alfred. <sighs> Such concern. Oh, come on. Put two and two never together. Met before. Release him. Then we'll talk. Uh, you know, I just don't believe you. Probably wise. Alfred may be the only way I can make you talk. It makes me wonder. Do you really care? Only one way to find out. Oh. Ah, no! Batman, don't you... Shut up, old man! You've seen my true self. Your turn. Prove that you can. Take off your mask. Let I mean, me see the man you really are. Sure, I'm still gonna kick your ass. If that's what it will take to Plus, I wanna see what she says. Oh. Ta-da! I'm wearing a Hugh Jackman face. Oh, Bruce. This must be some kind of trick. Bruce Wayne, he, he'd never be the man Batman is. He only looks out for himself. Oh, but of course. <laughs> now I understand. As Batman, you can prey upon the weak, the defenseless, just like your father did. No. A true way. <laughs> There's nothing heroic about you. I can't change what happened in the past. I would have fought for you, Vicky. No one should have to suffer the way that you did. You don't know how I suffered. But you will. I'll show you what Thomas Wayne did to me. To my family. Ow, my fucking ear! Who are you, fucking Mike Tyson? Oh, it's on. Oh, Fuck now! Alfred! No more lies! Shouldn't have taken no off my mask! Talk. The only truth left is in your death! Now I'm on Van Gogh! Fuck him up! Dodge! Weave! Kick! Ow, my shit! Ouch! 
Oh, come on, Sugar Puff, let's dance! Now! <laughs> I'll bury you! There you are! Ha-ha! Ha-ha! Oh, God, this one's going on for a while. I don't have my bat magic yet. Jesus! Fucking weak is this place? <laughs> She's good. I don't like it. Gravity boots unfair. <laughs> Got it. Got it. Got it. Nice. Yeah. What you call that? Fucking blowback, bitch. <laughs> Holy shit! I broke her staff and probably several of her ribs. Stop, Vicky. It's over. Nothing will keep me from my revenge. Now you sound like fucking Kratos. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, mega throw. Fucking hell! I assume I'm gonna escape with Alfred and she's gonna get buried. Come on, where's my bat magic? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yes! Fuck him up! <laughs> nice. Last one. Jesus Christ, everything's falling apart. Alfred, where are you? You belong in this place, Bruce. Lost. Forgotten. Buried. And Gotham will not mourn. The sins of the Wayne bloodline end here. safe a week later oh thank god As to last week's events at arkham asylum a spokesperson for the gcpd assured us that the breakout has been contained and all inmates have been returned to their cells cool miss vale is missing and presumed dead following a gruesome battle with the caped vigilante known only as the batman her death marks the end of children of arkham's reign of terror <sighs> if the public knew the half of it, it's better that they don't. Uh, this came in the mail. It's unsigned. 
these nuts! So we no. With everything that's been going on, I... I haven't gotten a chance to thank you for what you did, sacrificing your identity for my safety. But uh, it was a dangerous thing to do. You could lose everything. The secrecy you've worked so hard to maintain, gone. Vicky took my secret to the grave. But you couldn't have known that would happen. No. But what's done is done. And your ear? At least there's something left of it. <laughs> <laughs> and Dr. Tompkins assured what? me it adds character. I can't hear you! <laughs> I'm missing a piece of my ear! <laughs> that it does. We will get through this, Bruce. Don't lose sight of the fact that you've done some real good for Gotham. You should be proud. I didn't take them down alone. I had help. You, Lucius, Gordon, Selina, and all those who gave their life fighting for Gotham. To those who helped and those we lost. The damage done by the children of Arkham has left Gotham a city in turmoil. Faith in those at the top has perhaps irrevocably been shaken. Acting Commissioner James Gordon has yeah. promised to speak out about the issue tonight He's during commissioner an emergency now. citywide address. And I hope, despite the recent terror that Looking gripped good. our city, that Gotham's leading citizens will come out to show their support. Will his token appointment be enough to regain the city's trust? It remains to be seen. But experts agree that... Gordon hey. requested Gotham's leaders to stand behind him. Leaders like you. Let Gotham see who Bruce Wayne truly is. And let them know what you plan to do for his future. Well, this could be a fresh start. For you, and for this city. Though... In Gotham, the only figure that can make as much impact as a Wayne is Batman. You've helped this city tremendously, both as Bruce Wayne and Batman. And that person, whether he dons a cape or not, is someone I'm proud of and honored to call my friend. Oh. Thank you. So, what do you intend to do about tonight? Party! Well, Lucius has yet to invent a suit that'll let Bruce Wayne and Batman be in the same place at once. That is unfortunate. I suppose you must decide whose appearance will be more valuable. As Bruce, you can help repair the damage done to your name. Get the public support so that you can change things from the top down. But Batman is a symbol of justice and strength. Maybe in these dark times, that is truly what Gotham needs the most. I Perhaps one think... is truly the mask, and one is who you truly believe you are. I, th I want to go as Batman because. Of like the strength and everything and after all that shit that's happening it's good to see that But I need to clear the Wayne family name and I think it's good to go out as Bruce now Because Batman had his moment! Defeated the Lady Arkham! So I think it's good to go out as Bruce now Let Gordon know, Bruce Wayne will be there You'll make quite the impression, Gordon will be grateful Oh no 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 Hello everybody, it's me, it's Bruce. Commissioner Gordon. He is here. Commissioner Gordon. That doesn't sound right. Don't worry. It will. Thank you for having me, Commissioner. What uh, happened to your ear? It looks painful. Mm -hmm. Cut myself shaving? What'd you use, a chainsaw? <laughs> to be honest, I was surprised to get you a call. Now, after that nasty business at your manor, I know Harvey was a good friend of yours. A loss like that 
I wouldn't blame you for lying low. What you did is no secret. These people all saw there's more to Bruce Wayne than just the playboy. Public opinion is bound to swing around. Before long, you'll be Gotham's golden boy again. These people they have no idea who Bruce Wayne really is. But that's about to change. Oh? Well, I look forward to knowing the real Bruce Wayne as well. I was half hoping Batman might show up, too. I wouldn't mind knowing you. Uh, uh, why, 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 you why you say that? Why, what's going on? He makes one hell of an impression on people. If Batman isn't here, it's because he's more needed somewhere else. I wouldn't take it personally. <laughs> Good advice when it comes to that guy. They're ready for you, Commissioner. Ladies and During gentlemen! During times like these, it can feel impossible to hold on to hope. But I have hope. Hope that together we can rebuild what was lost. You know, in the last few weeks, as much violence and terror as I've seen, I've also seen the citizens of this community band together to fight those threats. And one of those people is Bruce Wayne. Thank you, Commissioner Gordon. Tough act to follow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here today to not only show my support for our acting commissioner, but also for this city. Many of you have suffered terrible losses, and some of those losses came at the hands of my own father, or at least as a result of his actions. I loved my father but nothing can excuse what he did. So today, I stand before you as my own man. Heir not to the Wayne legacy, but to Gotham's. If my recent incident with Harvey Dent has shown me anything, it's that I can no longer sit on the sidelines. My family's wealth was built on the suffering of others. I think it's time to repay that debt. I plan to use my resources to improve the city and make the lives of its citizens better. And to that end... Oh, I thought he was going to say he was going to run for mayor. I better have Gotham Police. I just want to bring up Arkham Asylum. It's bad blood. It's bad words. A closer alliance between the GCPD and Wayne Enterprises will provide the police force with the support, with the training, and the equipment they need to make Gotham safer than it ever has been before. The GCPD will be the most technologically advanced police force in the country because the people of Gotham deserve to feel safe. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Jeez, fuck! I thought it, I was resting on my laurels! Fuck you! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Clear the area! Get that bastard to lock up! Who is he? A save for Gotham! A better. Look out! <laughs> Minutes ago, Bruce Wayne delivered a rousing speech that turned into a shocking assassination attempt on his life. He sure does clean up well. See you soon, Bruce. Ah, <laughs> oh, really? You had to go out with the Joker, like, tease at the end? Wasn't that a little predictable? I want to see the choices! What? That's a bunch of boo -hawk. The game came out today! People are playing it! Why can't I see the choices? Oh man! I want to see what other choices other people made! Can I actually check them? 
your choices. Let's go to episode five. Episode two, three, four, five. I can't go to episode five. Man, that sucks. Man, why? Oh well. That was not the strongest finale. To be honest, I was expecting a whole lot more out of the final episode because I knew that episode like three and four was it episode three and four? Some of the episodes, episode one was really good. And then there was another really good one in the middle of it. And they all kind of blend together when you play them all. Um, so I can't remember which was which. There was another episode that I thought was really good. It might have been episode three or two. And then episode four or another one was kind of weak. So I thought episode five was going to be like, wow. Um, the fight with Vicky at the end was really cool. I really liked that. That was really like punchy and really impactful. And I really liked that. But everything kind of leading up to that was kind of, it, it was kind of all over the place. Like when I got to Arkham and I was throwing tables at people and everything, that was really cool. But there was a lot of just wasted time in the middle of it. A lot of just like busy work getting to that final conclusion. It felt like they were trying to pad out the episode instead of just giving you like a really good finale. And this was like an hour and a half long. I feel like they could have brought that down a small bit, but then people would complain because people expect length out of finales like this, so then you kind of have to make the episodes a tiny bit longer just to appease those people, but overall, very good series. Very good season, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what they do next. It, it is kind of a shame that they went out in the cliche of like, oh, the Joker, aha, uh -huh, he's going to be in season two, kind of thing, because that, that's a bit expected. I like that season one went with, like, I don't know if Lady Arkham is actually in the comics, I have absolutely no idea, somebody will have to correct me on that, but I, I have never seen Lady Arkham before, and I'd never heard of Lady Arkham before, so I'm glad they went with somebody kind of unknown, or somebody lesser known, to go into this, or if it is a completely new original character, even better. I'm glad that they went with something that wasn't like the Joker. They did throw in the Penguin in there, but he wasn't like the be-all and end-all of everything and two faces in there as well, but I'm glad that the main villain wasn't someone just like the Joker from the outset, because that wouldn't have... That wouldn't really gelled well with me. I'm glad that it was it was a new take, using Thomas Wayne as like one of the the pivotal bad guys, because at the end I thought it was going to turn out it was like oh my father actually didn't do all those bad things. It was framed to look that way or he had his reasons, but no, it just seemed like Thomas Wayne actually was a dickhead, and that all this stuff happened because he was doing really bad things and he was in cahoots with everybody else. I like that. I like that they went with something new. So, overall, very, very good. I like I like that a lot. Telltale, they have a habit of doing this thing where they, it's like, oh, your choices matter. These are choice-based games. What you do is going to carry on. And that's true to some extent. But then they just retcon it and the stuff happens anyway. Like with Two-Face, if I had saved him instead of Selina, people were saying that she gets shot and then she walks away and then Harvey just becomes Two-Face anyway. So that kind of stuff sucks. That it's like, no matter what you do, the choices happen anyway, and that's one of the real big problems with these types of games. Is that no matter what choices happen in the seasons, that it really doesn't matter. It all just boils down to the same things in the end, and the bigger choices don't really mean a whole lot. And it's the same with games like Life is Strange, that, like, everything kind of boils down to the same outcome. People kind of, kind of get the same endings. I am curious, however, how this would have ended if you went with Batman at the end instead of Bruce Wayne, because that talk wouldn't have happened. And I have a feeling that the final scene would have been completely different. So that's interesting. Um, but I am looking forward to this Telltale season is over. They're likely doing a season two. By the way, this ended, so that might not be out for years. They have to do a season two of The Wolf Among Us. I'm not sure if that's even announced yet or if that is even happening. I am looking forward to more of that because that's one of the stronger Telltale series. Season three of The Walking Dead comes out on December 20th of this month. Um, of course, December 20th. I'm really looking forward to that. I cannot wait. Tell or The Walking Dead has always been like their poster child that they tried their hardest with that and I'm really looking forward to that. They're working on uh, Guardians of the Galaxy series. They did Minecraft story mode, which I'm not going to be playing. I know a lot of people ask me to. I'm, I'm never, ever, ever going to be playing that. It just does not interest me, but season three of The Walking Dead is coming soon and I'm going to be doing that. The part one or episode one, the premiere of it, is going to be a two-parter. 
So it's going to be two long episodes for the first part, the first episode of season three. It gets very confusing. So look forward to those in the coming week. Cannot wait to play that, but for now, that does it for Batman. Really good. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for staying here and watching all of the episodes. If you watched all the episodes fully, completely, end to end, thank you. That really means a lot to me. Not just in YouTube aspects, but the fact that you trust enough in my content that you would sit here and listen to me for an hour, an hour and a half, two hours, depending on the length of episodes. If you've watched the entire season start to finish, all five episodes, you're an absolute hero. And thank you again for that, because that's a lot of content. So, if you, if you have, I hope you made an evening out of it. I hope you made a day out of it, and it was really fun for you to watch, and I hope you enjoyed it. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, punch the like button in its face! Like a puss! And... High fives all around. Whoosh! Whoosh! Thank you guys, and I will see all you dudes! See you later, Bruce. Till next time, buddy.